Dad checks video footage and sees Cat behave strangely. Finally, Daniel had the proof he had been looking for. However, even so, he couldn't believe what was staring him in the face. Even so, he finally had answers to the questions he had wanted answered. He skips back to the beginning of the video clip and starts again, feeling uneasy as he watches what he had captured on camera. He always knew there was something strange about Muffins, his cat. This was not what he had expected, however. We all know how important it to adopt pets and how much joy they can bring into our lives. However, adopted pets often behave in ways that may scare or surprise you. Many of these behaviors were learned from their previous home or they might be based on how they were treated. A couple who recently adopted a cat quickly discovered that it came with some such behaviors. One trait, in particular, unnerved them and resulted in numerous sleepless nights. The couple in question knew how important adoption was over buying a new pet. As a result, they chose to visit the local animal shelter in search of a pet. They soon found a cat who immediately stole their hearts. The cat was sweet, loving, and seemed very happy and the family couldn't have been more pleased with their newest member. However, it wouldn't be long before he started behaving in a way which they were not prepared for. The cat immediately became a part of their family. When they first saw him, the cat stared deep into Daniel's eyes with a pleading expression on his face. The cat seemed to be begging him to take him home. Daniel's heart melted and he knew that this cat was going home with him. It would have been cruel to turn away from this tabby. That's how Muffins became a member of Daniel's family, though none of them realized what this meant for them yet. Daniel was pleased that his kids adored Muffins and would often even spend the night snuggling with him and listening to him purr as they stroked his fur. Muffins seemed to immediately make himself at home once he was rescued from the pound. Despite how comfortable and happy he seemed, they soon discovered that he had a strange habit which only happened at night. However, this strange behavior quickly showed just how unique and quirky even animals can be. Every night since they brought him home, Muffins would stand in the doorway of Daniel's bedroom and stare at him while he slept. He completely seemed to ignore the rather pricey cat bed that they had bought for him. After several nights of this, Daniel gave in and let the cat sleep in the bed next to him and his wife. He hoped that this would end the strange behavior but that was not the case. Instead, they noticed his strange habit taking on an even more disturbing form. As if staring at them from the door each night hadn't been unnerving enough, now that they allowed Muffins to sleep in the bed, he simply took to staring at them at point-blank range every night. This confused and worried Daniel and his wife. Could there be some bigger problem or even more worrying reason for this behavior? Was there something he was trying to tell them or was he staring at something specific? At the age of 13 Daniel had been diagnosed with asthma and had naturally been struggling with this throughout his life and especially at night. As a result, Daniel had never smoked, could never run a marathon, and always needed to make sure that he had his inhaler on hand. Over the years he had gone to many different specialists and doctors about his condition but none of them could offer any real solution. To make matters worse, his nighttime asthma had become even worse. Daniel realized that his breathing troubles had become worse ever since they brought muffins home from the pound. However, this wasn't merely an allergy. Whatever was going on it was far worse than that. Some nights Daniel would sit up in bed, gasping for breath while it felt as if a piece of glass was lodged in his throat, scratching him. Daniel became more and more concerned as time went by but he had no idea that he would soon discover the real cause. On this particular night Daniel woke with a start as he coughed and wheezed uncontrollably. His wife still lay sleeping next to him and he looked at the clock to see the time. 4.03 AM. He didn't know what had caused such an attack. He decided to get and get a glass of water from the kitchen in the hope of easing his coughing. That's when he noticed muffins. He looked at the cat with a smile and then felt his blood run cold as he saw what the cat was doing. Sitting on a chair in the moonlight and surrounded by complete silence, Muffins was staring at Daniel and watching his every move. As Daniel got up to get his water, Muffins' reflective yellow eyes followed him eerily across the room. A sudden, irrational feeling of anxiety crept upon Daniel. What if the cat was seeing something that Daniel couldn't? This situation happened again the day after, at exactly the same time, 4.03 AM. Daniel woke up coughing to find Muffin staring at him. Okay this is super weird, thought Daniel, what are you doing, he whispered to the creepy cat. Suddenly, a thought popped into his head. He pondered for a while, before nervously getting back into bed. What are you doing, he whispered to the creepy cat. 
Suddenly, a thought popped into his head. He pondered for a while, before nervously getting back into bed. The following morning, as Daniel ate his toast and cereal, he watched muffins creep around the house. His two girls were playing with him while they watched some TV. His youngest, Ella, scooped muffins up and cuddled him close. But Daniel felt a lump in his throat, unable to get last night's antics out of his head. He knew he had to do something. So he did. Daniel grabbed his wallet, car keys, kissed his wife goodbye and set off to the supermarket. While driving there, all he could think of was Muffin's alarming and quite scary stare. He needed some answers. Enough was enough. I'm looking for a video camera, please. Preferably one with night vision. Daniel asks a member of staff, who was rearranging a shelf full of blue denim pants. Sure thing. The employee replied with a polite smile. She leaves him for a few minutes before coming back, armed with a video camera. He was finally going to get some answers. Daniel sets up the camera before bedtime, placing it behind a book. As he kissed his two girls goodnight, he noticed Muffins lingering in the hallway. His green eyes were focused on Daniel's every move. Daniel gets into bed, kisses his wife goodnight and snuggles into his duvet. Silence fills the room and he slowly drifts off to sleep, knowing that in the morning he'll finally have answers. The following morning Daniel woke up and immediately remembered the camera. As he waved goodbye to his kids, who were off to play soccer, he sprinted back upstairs while Muffin watched his every move. He shut the bedroom door, piled out the memory card from the camera and plugged it into his computer. While he waits for it to load, a feeling of excitement jolts Daniel. Finally, some answers. As Daniel presses play on the recorded video, he lets out a sigh. Please give me answers. He whispers out loud. The video showed nothing for the first few hours. Just Daniel and his wife tossing and turning in their bed. Fast forwarding the video, suddenly Daniel presses pause. He can see muffins in the video. He's perched at the end of the bed. Then slowly he makes his way up to Daniel, who's fast asleep. What was he doing? No way. Shouts Daniel. He was sitting in his bedroom watching the recorded video from last night. The video shows Muffin slowly creep his way closer and closer to Daniel's faces before getting completely comfortable and settling down on top of his nose and mouth. Daniel can't believe it. This would explain why he's recently started having trouble breathing at night. Pressing pause on the video, Daniel gets up. Suddenly, Muffins creeps into the room and Daniel turns to him before cracking a smile. The following morning, over a cup of coffee and freshly cooked toast, Daniel explained everything to his wife. She was equally shocked at the outcome, but she felt happy that her husband finally had some answers. That's some way to show his love, Daniel's wife joked. Yeah, I guess it is, Daniel replied with a smirk on his face. As Daniel finished reading his morning newspaper, he heard a scratch. He turned around and Muffins is sitting in the corner of the room staring at him. Daniel put down the newspaper and walked over to Muffins and picks him up. He nests Muffins in his chest while stroking his silky, smooth fur. The cat looks at his owner and lets out a purr. He was exactly where he wanted to be. This story just goes to show that our dear beloved pets really do have a mind of their own. And when they want something, whether that's food, drink, playtime, or in Muffin's case, cuddles, they'll stop at nothing to get it. Even if that may result in choking their owners, with love of course.